Darcy from Swirl Solutions. Here's a tip for Apple users uh, and Gmail accounts. So usually you set it up where the little icon says Gmail and maybe your contacts and calendar items don't really sync. But here's a way to get everything to work for you. So watch this. I'm going to go to the settings. I'm going to go to mail and contacts. And instead of clicking on Gmail, I'm going to click on Microsoft Exchange. And I'm going to put my information in here. Okay, you can change the description. You might want to say Gmail instead of uh, Exchange, whatever. Click Next. The option to uh, put in a domain, you can just leave uh, blank. Username is just your email. Highlight it. Click Select All. And then Copy. And then click into where it says Username and say paste. There's a fast way for you. Then hit next. Okay, then what you do, okay, in the server box up here, you type in m.gmail.com. Okay? M stands for mobile. Click next. Oh, that's not good. Hold on. <laughs> One moment, please. My mistake. This actually should show Google, not Gmail. So I just go into here. If you didn't know this, here's a little learning lesson with my finger. And then I can just delete what I want. Uh, sorry, I deleted the whole thing. So it's M dot nothing like live videos. Google dot Com. All right, now hit next. All checks, that's awesome. Then it actually says, what do you want on? Contacts and calendar, that's great. Save. Watch it add the account. Okay, so it's added the account up here where I changed the name to Gmail. Okay. Okay, so if you type the wrong password like I did, it'll say, hey, that's not right. I'm going to type it in again. Now I went and logged on to my Gmail account and uh, I'm going to go to, let's see, we'll go to calendar and let's put in um, a date for February 14th, happy Valentine's Day at 10 a.m. Okay, this is a test calendar event at 10 to 11. Okay, perfect, we'll save that. You see it here on my internet, on my PC, and then I'm going to look at my contacts, okay? Okay, click on Gmail, and I'm going to go to contacts. So I've got two, I put myself in there, another test user, and let's just do one more for a good measure. Add to my contacts. Let's call it Joe Smith. Okay, there's Joe Smith with no information. And now what we're going to do, actually see, you can see the contacts there. Myself, Emily Narby, and Joe Smith, a bunch of test users there. And uh, what we're going to do now is look at the iPad. Okay, so let's now go and uh, we can look at contacts. Actually, let's look at calendar first. There is a, a calendar, my regular calendar, but if I click on calendars, and I'm just going to undo all these calendars except the Gmail calendar. Okay, and we'll just give it a second as it's still uh, syncing. Okay, now we've gone on to February 14th, and look at that immediately. I've not synced it through iTunes. I've done nothing. It was all done completely wirelessly. Now let's check out contacts. You do have to click on the um, red button to say groups, 
and I'm just going to say not swirl solutions. I just want my, um, where's my Gmail, my Gmail contacts. Okay. And look at that. There's the three. Again, I did not use iTunes. This is all completely done wirelessly. How fantastic is that? All right. Enjoy that awesome tip and we'll see you soon. Again, it's Darcy from Swirl Solutions.